Hello Aries, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for Aries? Oh, straight away the tower. Ooh. The tower is an abrupt change coming into your life. A lot of people don't like the tower. I love the tower. Um, it's just unexpected things. I feel like it's just the energy of somebody turns up on your door and everything changes from that moment on or something like that. It's that energy of, oh, there's a job opportunity coming in and you go, oh, that's great, but I love my job. And it leaves you on this like, oh, everything's about to change, but I don't know if it's going to be the right thing. Um, there's something exciting though. It feels good. It feels good. There's this energy though of like a thunderstorm. I guess that's because I'm looking at that lightning, but it's like some people love thunderstorms. Some people hate thunderstorms, but it's just that energy of, like, exciting, um, because I love thunderstorms, so I'm taking it as excitement for you. There's just, like, what's gonna happen? It just feels like a little bit of stir-up, but for a lot of you Aries, you needed the stir-up, you needed this energy, you needed this change to come in, and it's coming, it's coming right when you need it. What else is going on for you? Oh, Eight of Wands and the Chariot. The Chariot is success, the Chariot is movement, the Chariot is travel. Um, multitasking successfully. It's also speed and the eight of wands here. This is speed as well. This is quick. This is something's already in motion. Somebody's on their way to you. Um, I don't know. Somebody's traveling from overseas to see you. If you have family overseas, they're just going to turn up. Um, I don't know. There's just something where it's all a bit abrupt and unexpected, but it's all very exciting. Eight of Wands is very exciting. Chariot's very exciting. The tower is very exciting. Like, it's very exciting energy, basically, if I haven't said that a hundred times. But, like, I can't emphasize it enough, so I'm just going to keep saying it. Four of Pentacles. Ooh. You might feel a little bit, um... I don't know, it's like you're in love with your life at the moment, or things are going so good for you at the moment that you don't want to disturb the energy or something. So when this exciting thing comes in, or this opportunity, or this person, you're a bit protective of where you're currently at. It's like you don't want to mess up a good thing, you don't want to change where you're at. I don't know, but whatever it is, stay open-minded, because I feel like as good as things are right now, you can always have more good. Um, ooh, and the world comes out. There's a new cycle beginning. And the sun, the happiest card. There's a lot of happiness coming in, but it's like, because you've never had this much positivity or good things, I don't know, it's like you're waiting for the tower to fall. The tower. It's like you're waiting for... If all these good things are happening and you're getting all these opportunities and things are going well in all these areas of your life, it's like you're waiting for the penny to drop or you're waiting for something to say to drop or end. And I think you are, um, you might be creating self-fulfilling prophecies in some way to do with that or you're just over-analyzing instead of enjoying the life that you're creating. You might be like looking for something to go wrong. Hanged Man, the Nine of Pentacles, Justice. You also, um, Justice is sometimes marriage, it's signing contracts. It's just, I feel like you could be coming into commitment with someone very soon, especially if you're single. Nine of Pentacles is single energy, but or it's just solidifying something with someone. Like, um, it's very beautiful energy. It's very, um, it's, I don't know why I'm getting like young love or something, uh, even if you're not so young technically you're still feeling young and in love with someone very soon and with the hanged man i feel like you're both looking at the world differently it's like when you're with this person you're going through like a portal or something you know when you're having a conversation with someone and the chats get very deep it's like you're in another world with them i don't know it's like and when i said that the moon came out which is deep hidden emotions i feel like you and this person are very connected emotionally with each other's wants and needs, which is a weird thing to say. I don't know, you're just very connected intuitively, I should say, with each other's wants and needs. And um, obviously communicating is always better than just intuitively feeling into what someone wants um, from you or what you can help them with or bring to the table. But I feel like you're already very connected and in sync on um, a spiritual wavelength. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is something very new coming in, but like, it's been a long time coming. Ace of Wands is an attraction, it's a spark, it's chemistry. Ace of Swords, though, 
I said it's chemistry and then I'm looking at all the math in the background, like, I don't know, equations, like chemistry, I don't know why it's come through. Um, you could have a class with this person or something, but Ace of Swords is clarity, Ace of Swords is knowledge, it's truth, it's clear communication. So it's funny that it came through after me saying, make sure you communicate, even if you do feel like you're on the same wavelength. Um, Ace of Wands, there's so much... It's almost like there's more things to be attracted to with this person. The more you get to know them, the more you get, like, Ace of Swords is knowledge. Like, the more you know about them, the more you're attracted to them. Like, you find out something that they, you're like, oh my god, you play the drums? That's my favourite thing ever. How have you only just told me that? Um, like, you don't think you could like them more and then you do. And I think it's the same with this person and how they feel about you. The Hermit. Um, you're kind of, you and this person, firstly, I don't know why I'm still talking about you and this person, but I am, so I feel like there's somebody coming into your life as you're single that is going to be a very big part of your life, because this is not a love reading, but it's becoming one. The hermit, though, is solitude. The hermit is spiritually awakening. It's taking time out to meditate, to go inward, to learn more about yourself, to go quiet and to listen to what the universe has to tell you and what what you can find from the other realms in a way. I just feel like you and this person really are, I don't know if you're both going through a spiritual awakening at the same time or if you're both just very enlightened or you're both kind of lighting up each other's darkest aspects because like the hermit card, if they didn't have their little lantern, it'd be completely dark. And I just feel like you're the, you're each other's lanterns, as silly as it sounds. Um, Nine of Swords just flew out. Like you're both, if you're both afraid or something, I don't know why I'm just seeing you in the middle of the night, you and someone else can't sleep and you just get up and go and grab cereal. You're just like, yep, yeah, cool, let's embrace it, let's have fun. Um, let's put a movie on, let's make a night of it. Instead of like, yeah, the devil, like you could be, um, you and this person both struggle with some type of addiction or some bad habit and you go, look, we could worry about it, we could do this, or we could make the best of a bad situation and you're both bringing light to dark situations with each other. It's very nice, very nice. What else is going on though? Let's, let's let go of the love thing. What else is happening this week? Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords. You are going to get, um, an offer to do with work, I feel. A promotion, a new job. There's something where you're going to get more money or something. There's going to be an opportunity to make more money. And somebody also... I don't know why I'm getting somebody looks like they're smarter than you, but they're not. I don't know. Look at this King of Swords. King of Swords is very intelligent. But I feel like the energy is, is they look intelligent, but you're actually more intelligent. Maybe you have like a look about you where you look young or you just don't look as savvy as this person but you are so don't get caught in your head with the two of swords um if you have an interview or something or again i said this in someone else's reading somebody else had an interview or something and i was like why are you going to an interview in like christmas time i don't know job interviews a job interview though i guess um ace of pentacles king of swords don't don't feel lesser because you're younger because i'm really paying attention to that gray hair there sometimes it's obviously respect your elders and things like that, and I'm not saying don't, but I'm just saying just as much, hold your ground here, because you are just as intelligent. I don't know, there's just something about you not feeling as, I don't know, maybe you were looked down on or something for your age in the past, because there's something where you're going to be a little bit more, you kind of have a choice. You can go into this confident and sure of yourself no matter what age you are or how much experience you have in a field, you can just know that you are meant for this or you can go in this nervous and you can go in this questioning if there's somebody better i feel like it would benefit you to have a little bit more macho a little bit more confidence a little bit more um self-assuredness even if it's false even if it's pretend even if there's nothing to back it up or if you're questioning if there's anything to back it up what's wrong with acting what's wrong with acting the part fake it till you make it i feel like it's going to be very important um, because you actually, and it's not even, you might feel like you're faking it. It's almost like imposter syndrome. You're going to feel like you're faking it till you make it. But on the inside, I genuinely feel you are ready for this. And you do have the qualities that 
I don't know, if it is a job or whatever it is that's coming in, you're ready for it, basically. Um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Oh, yeah, Two of Swords tried to come out earlier and now it just came out again. Like, you're overthinking a simple thing. Maybe that's me overthinking a simple thing and over-speaking. <laughs> I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tilda Tarot Tuesdays.